Hi everyone, thank you for your vote for Player of the Month. Uh, I really appreciate it a lot and I'll keep on doing my best. Thank you. So that was Thomas Tebati there after he had been announced as the best player for the month of February for Arsenal. He won the award beating Martin Udegaard and Saka, getting 49% of the votes. Congratulations to Thomas Tebati. Today we're going to talk about the Ghana Black Stars squad. There are reports emanating that we are still chasing Mohamed Salisu. Uh, coach Otuado and his abled uh, assistant are still in talks with a young man who has in the past stated he's not ready to play for Ghana. I'll be giving you details on that and my thoughts on it as well. We're also going to talk about Sule Ali Montari's possible inclusion in the Ghana Black Stars squad. A Charles Taylor, a former player for Accra Hatupo, Ken Kumasi Asante Kotoko, along with the Black Meteors who made it the last team to make it to Athens 2004, an Olympic tournament has said that uh, it's not the right time for him and he doesn't think Sule Ali Montari should be included in the lineup. Richard Ofori, he has made an injury return after six months spell out. The last time he played for Ghana was in September. He is back in action and uh, not that he will play for Ghana, but it's great to see him back on the pitch. We're also going to talk about the officials uh, for the Ghana versus Nigeria game, both here in Ghana and then away in Nigeria. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the Black Star squad, according uh, to several reports, will be released uh, tomorrow. The coach Otuado has submitted his list uh, to the Ghana Football Association. Today, uh, Wednesday, they are sitting on it and they will release the squad uh, tomorrow. Uh, they are sitting on it to deliberate and look at the plan and the itinerary for the Ghana Black Stars and how they would make the trip and how they plans in general for the game versus Nigeria and tomorrow uh, the squad will release to the general public but it looks like the squad will be a surprising one that's posted here on social media by Gary Al Smith and Sadiq Adams the squad uh, will be full of surprises a few gambles here and there and let's see how it goes it will be interesting to see what they mean I like the Ghana approach to this Nigeria game Sadiq Adams is saying I don't know how to add future with the team will be but clearly this is a process of rebuilding a foundation sort of uh, some interesting new names new young players too so that should give you a hint about what will happen in the latest black stars call up we'll be following it closely as you know and i'll bring you the latest on this channel but today it is the time to bring you an update on the front of the recruitment going on for the Ghana versus Nigeria game and it's even reported that the, the Ghana Black Stars are still pursuing Ghanaian player Mohamed Salis. Uh, he has not given up or to add uh, Ghana have also not given up on Southampton defender uh, Mohamed Salis as talks continue in a bit to convince him to accept the Black Stars call up ahead of the Nigeria tie. Uh, Salisu insists he's not ready to play for Ghana and I thought that is where we'll end it. But Otoado and his able assistant are confident the former Real Valladolid man uh, will have a change of mind if you need to convince them they are not ready, my opinion. Salisu is one of the best Ghanaian players abroad and cannot be overlooked for the big games this month as Ghana looked to qualify for the World Cup. He was excellent against the two Manchester clubs during CK Akono's time as manager turned down the opportunity to play for the Black Stars uh, with the excuse that he wanted to focus on club career. He has since not been invited and missed out on the African Cup of Nations tournament earlier this year. Otuado is preparing to name his squad uh, tomorrow. Uh, the squad list will be out. Essentially, the squad is with the FA right now. Uh, they will release it tomorrow after deliberating and sitting on it today. So uh, the squad list uh, surely will be out pretty soon. You can expect to hear it next week. But my thought on this one here is that I think um, we shouldn't be forcing players to play for the country. Mohamed Salizu has on several occasions stated that he is not ready to play for Ghana. He has his reasons, not being clear on that. And uh, well, I don't know why we still push the buttons. Probably they've seen something up, not probably they've heard something we've known. But once the player has openly rejected the call up in the past, I do not see the point in trying to quote unquote convince him. But hey, he is a great player. The issue I have is that it is not even in defense or central defense that we have 
the issues in the Ghana national team. It has to do with striking, scoring goals, creating opportunities for players to score goals. So if Salisu doesn't want to come, unfortunately, but we shouldn't be forcing players to play for the Ghana Black Stars. And that is where I have an issue with the Ghana national team on. Osule Ali Montari next and uh, Charles Taylor, former player of the Ghana Black Stars, has said it's not fit for the Black Stars. He says we need serious players and not Sule Montari. I don't know why he had to put it like that. There have been final ways to say it. But speaking on Angel TV, the former Koto Call legend said Sule Montari is not a Black Stars material for the Nigeria Clash. We need serious players. He should focus on hard to folk so he gains fitness. He can be called when Ghana qualifies for the World Cup, called to do what to play in the World Cup. It's believed the discussion between the FA and the coaching staff are far advanced for the Hearts of Oak playmaker to return to the Black Stars after he raised eyebrows with his performances ahead of the Ghana's World Cup playoff with Nigeria. The 37-year-old, a former Inter Milan man, was banned from the national team until he apologized. He has apologized five years ago. Interim coach Ortoado is yet to announce his squad and Sule Ali Montari, it is being rumored, will be part of that team. We will see about that tomorrow when officially the team list is called out for that game. And it will be interesting to see if Sule Montari is called. But I know for sure that if he is called, probably not to be playing for full 90 minutes. He hasn't even been able to complete 90 minutes for Accra Hard to Poke. And it's quite clear, fitness level is not 100%. But this Charles Taylor comment here, the way he put it, yes, you might not also need to be in the team, but there's a way to go about putting those statements. But I get him, Sule will not serve as any purpose in this very important clash, is what he means to say. We'll see about that. We'll see what the list entails. And we'll look at the officials for the game between Ghana and Nigeria. And uh, for the home leg here in Ghana, Moroccan Tun referee Redun Jihad has been instructed to handle that first leg. Uh, the highly respected Moroccan official uh, will travel to Cape Coast for the match between the two arch rivals. Uh, Black Stars will take on Super Eagles at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium on the 25th of March 2022 before they head to Abuja four days later for the return encounter. Jihad was in charge when Ghana hosted and beat Ethiopia 1-0 in the World Cup qualifiers at the same venue in September last year, which was the opening game of the World Cup qualifier group stage. The 42-year-old match official took charge of the third-place player between Burkina Faso and Cameroon at the start of Madu Ahiju in the African Cup of Nations in Yaoundé. The top Moroccan official has also officiated Afcon Games, Equatorial Guinea vs Cote d'Ivoire in the group stages and Burkina Faso vs Gabon in the round of 60. GN recently took charge of the Champions League group stage match between Mamelodi Sundowns and Alali at the Cairo International Stadium. So a very seasoned a professional there. In the away leg, there will be an official from Tunisia and he is in the person of Seduk Selmi. Uh, the Super Eagles game in Abuja between Ghana will have this official. Selmi has been active in the 2021-2022 season, having been present at AFCON in Cameroon, where he handled the group stage, two group stage games. He was in charge uh, when Morocco beat Comoros 2-0, also when Cape Verde won 1-1 with host country Cameroon in Yaoundé. Selmi recently took control of the Cup Champions League game, a group stage game between Waidad came from behind to beat Zamalek 3-1 in Casablanca. The top Tunisian referee officiated the second preliminary round match in Mali, where, st Mali, where start Malian lost at home to Guinean giant Haroya FC. So these are the official, the center men to take charge of this game. It will be interesting to see how they do in this competition in this game ghana versus nigeria both home and away moroccan will handle it in ghana and tunisia will handle it in abuja so that's it there uh, con congratulations to thomas party player of the month of february for arsenal uh, ghanaian player is being pursued still uh, mohammed salis comments by charles taylor or sule montari's impossible inclusion and the match officials for the game between ghana and nigeria let me know your thoughts and comments box on everything I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.